Today, the English football system is backwards because I relegated every single Premier League club down to League Two, the fourth division of English football. Now, this was a bit tricky to do, so let me explain. Because the Premier League has 20 clubs, but the Championship League One and League Two has 24 clubs, I had to find extra teams somewhere. So, League Two consists of the 20 Premier League clubs and the top four highest rated championship sides, which are Leeds, Leicester, Southampton, and Norwich. And League One consists of the 20 top championship sides plus the top four highest rated League One sides, which are Portsmouth, Oxford, Barnsley, and Peterborough. Then the championship consists of the 20 best League One sides and the top four League Two sides, which are Stockport County, Notts County, Mansfield Town, and Crew Alexandra. And then finally, the Premier League is made up of the 20 remaining League Two clubs. We basically have the worst clubs in the Premier League and the best clubs at the bottom in League Two. For 10 full seasons, we're going to answer a lot of questions. Who would win the Premier League, the FA Cup, the Carabao Cup, and the Champions League if the English football system was reversed? Which former Premier League clubs will rise back up through the ranks once again to get back their Premier League status? Or maybe a League Two side will finally establish themselves in the top division of English football? All of these questions will be answered today, so let's go to the end of Season 1. But and before you do that, please hit the subscribe button and the like button for me. I would really appreciate it. Let's go! The inaugural season of the backwards English football system has come to an end, and it was Liverpool in League Two that won League Two. Man United in second, Arsenal in third. Those top three automatically are getting promoted and one of Manchester City, Spurs, Newcastle and Aston Villa may also be going up to League One and in League One it was West Brom and Blackburn that are going back up to the championship and one of Middlesbrough, Stoke, Millwall and Watford. While in the championship Derby County and Blackpool are going to the Premier League lads and also one of Charlton, Stockport, Reading and Lincoln City and our inaugural Premier League winner is AFC Wimbledon. Yes they beat out Tranmere Rovers and Bradford City Barrow finished in fourth. Let's see who got relegated. Who is going back down to the championship? It is Accrington, it is Crawley Town, and it is Morecambe. While the FA Cup in season one was won by Leicester City over Manchester City. But check out these semifinals. Q Puyar make the semifinals and Sheffield Wednesday. While in the Carabao Cup, it was Aston Villa that were crowned champions over Newcastle. Yes, and again, the semifinals. Barnsley all the way in the semifinals of the Carabao Cup. And the Champions League was won by none other than Barcelona over Inter 2-0. Let's go to Season 2. But before we go to the end of Season 2, we have to check which former Premier League side got promoted through the playoffs to League 1 from League 2. Well, it was Newcastle United. So we're going to have Arsenal, Liverpool, Man United, and Newcastle all playing in League 1 in the second season. Season 2 in League 2 is over, lads, and Manchester City won the league. They're a little bit behind, but they got promoted in the second season. But a surprising Leeds United came in second place. They're also getting promoted alongside Chelsea. Chelsea, Aston Villa, Spurs, West Ham, and Wolves can also get promotion. Well, one of them. While in League One in the second season, Arsenal and Liverpool got back-to-back -back promotions. Look at those numbers. 115 points, 105 points for Liverpool, and then Newcastle, Man United, Coventry, and Preston will battle it out for that last promotion spot. In the championship, it will be West Brom and Blackburn going back up to the Premier League and one of Bolton, Stockport, Reading, or Fleetwood Town. And in the second season in the Prem, it was Wrexham. Ryan Reynolds, FC, won the Premier League. And Swindon Town, Colchester, and Walsall all got relegated. In the FA Cup, it was Manchester City that won it. 5-4 on penalties over Arsenal. And if you look at the semifinals, not too many surprises in the second season, except maybe Leeds. Leeds United had a pretty good season. They got promoted, and they went to the semifinals of the FA Cup. While in the Carabao Cup, it was Manchester United over West Ham 3-1. And if you look at the semifinals, eh, not too many surprises either. Southampton, maybe. And finally, in Season 2, the Champions League was won by PSG over Real Madrid 2-0. Season 3 is over, lads, and teams are really starting to get mixed up. It's just a big pot of just randomness now because there's so many teams that are getting promoted, so many teams that are getting relegated. In League 2, it was Fulham. <laughs> yeah, Fulham and Spurs go up, and Nottingham Forest also go up. Leicester, Wolves, Brentford, and West Ham are gonna fight for that final promotion spot. While in League 1, Man City and Newcastle are getting automatically promoted to the championship, and one of Chelsea Villa, Leeds, or Coventry City. A surprising Coventry City. In the championship, Man United and Liverpool, uh, they won the race. They're the first ones back up to the Premier League in only three seasons. Back to back to back promotions. Arsenal in third in a playoff with Millwall, Lincoln City, and Reading. It's going to be very, very interesting next season to see how Man United and Liverpool compete in the Premier League with some of the more weaker sides. While the Premier League was won by newly promoted West 
West Brom, Blackburn in second, Derby County in third, Wrexham in fourth place. They're not backing down, lads. Wrexham isn't backing down. While Barrow, Wimbledon, the first Premier League winners were relegated and Sutton United was relegated as well. In season three, the FA Cup was won by Tottenham. Tottenham over Newcastle. Tottenham won a trophy again. And the Carabao Cup was won by Arsenal over Manchester United. But we had a nice, surprising two semifinalists. Stoke City and Luton Town made it to the semifinals of the Carabao Cup. And the Champions League in season three went to Italy. Yes, AC Milan over a German side, a surprising finalist, RB Leipzig. Let's go to season four where two former Premier League clubs, maybe even three, we're gonna have to check on the playoffs, are back in the Premier League. The start of season four, and yeah, we're gonna have three former Premier League sides in the Premier League for season four because Arsenal got promoted alongside, of course, Man United and Liverpool. Let's go to the end of season four. I wanna see how some of these League Two sides are gonna compete against the three former Premier League sides. It's gonna be very, very interesting because we still have teams like Harrogate Town and Grimsby and Gillingham and MK Dons are here, Newport County, Salford. I'm also wondering if the four leagues are just gonna go back to what they used to be after several seasons where all the good sides will get promoted and all the bad teams will get relegated and the leagues will just be as they started. Season four and done. Let's take a look at League Two. Brighton, Brentford, and Palace are all getting promoted. Everton, West Ham, Sheffield, and Burnley are in the playoffs. Wolves are still struggling. So Southampton, so is Bournemouth, so is Luton. And take a look at this. Look at Norwich. Dead last in League Two. What? Norwich City has just fallen off a cliff. In League One and Season Four, it is Villa and Forest that are going up to the championship and one of Spurs, Leicester, Coventry, or Middlesbrough. While in the championship, lads, Man City is going back up to the Premier League alongside Chelsea and one of Newcastle, Millwall, Reading, and Barrow. <laughs> Barrow finished in the playoff spot. They got relegated to uh, the championship from the Premier League, but they're a League Two side, but they're like kind of hanging on. They're finished in the playoff spot in the championship with the likes of Man City and Chelsea in the league. And the Premier League is back to the Premier League. Yeah, Arsenal won the Prem, Liverpool in second, Man United in third, but Wrexham is kind of hanging on as well. They finished in the sixth position, while Grimsby Town, Bolton, and Newport County are all getting relegated down to the championship. The FA Cup in season four was won by Chelsea. I mean, but Stoke City, Stoke City went to the finals of the FA Cup. And the Carabao Cup was won also by Chelsea, but this time it was over Southampton. And finally, the Champions League in season four lads was won by the German giant Bayern Munich. Halfway through, ladies and gentlemen, season five is over. League two, it was Burnley, Wolves, and Huddersfield. Huddersfield are getting promoted. And one of Southampton, Luton, Plymouth Argyle, and Bournemouth. While Everton and Sheffield are still stuck in League two, and so is Norwich City. They finished dead last again. What is going on at Norwich? In League One in Season 5, it was West Ham and Leicester City that are moving up to the Championship and one of Fulham, Brentford, Leeds United, and Brighton. And in the Championship in Season 5, Spurs are finally getting promoted back up to the Premier League alongside Forest and one of Aston Villa, Reading, surprising Reading, Millwall, and AFC Wimbledon. They're sticking around, aren't they? They got relegated down from the Premier League to the Championship, but they're keeping up with everybody. They finished in a playoff. While the Premier League in Season 5 was won by Manchester United, Chelsea in second, Man City in third, and Liverpool rounded off the top four. The FA Cup in Season 5 was won by Arsenal over West Ham 3-1. While the Carabao Cup was won again by Chelsea. Back-to-back -back Carabao Cups for Chelsea 2-1 over Fulham. And the Champions League trophy returned back to Italy, but it wasn't with AC Milan. It wasn't all Italian final, though. It was Juventus over Inter. Now, although some of the former Premier League clubs are starting to dominate, it does look like there's been some changes with other clubs like AFC Wimbledon. They're sticking around. And what's happening with Norwich? So let's go to the end of season six. Season six is in the books and oh my gosh, we had a surprising League Two uh, table. Crew Alexandra and Shrewsbury and Peterborough are getting promoted. Why Cardiff City and Bournemouth and Luton Town and Everton are stuck in a playoff. They're still there. And I mean, look at Norwich. Norwich is still in 21st place. And in League One, it was Leeds United and Sunderland that got promotion and one of Coventry, Watford, Burnley and Fulham. But there's some teams that are struggling. Wolves, Southampton, they're in the middle of the pack in League One. They can't get out. In the championship in Season 6, it was Brighton and Aston Villa that are going back up and one of West Ham, Salford City, Leicester, and Bolton. What? While in the Premier League, it was Arsenal that won it in Season 6, followed by Liverpool, Chelsea, and Man United. City in 5th, they've kind of been struggling. They haven't been the same club since they made it back up. And we still have teams like MK Dons who are in 8th, sticking around. Charlton, 
Derby County. Blackpool is still here. And Gillingham, Forest Green, and Millwall all got relegated. The FA Cup in Season 6 was won by Liverpool over against Stoke City. Stoke City keeps on making the finals, but they're just not winning. But we also had a surprising semi-finalist, Wrexham. <laughs> Wrexham made it to the semi-finals of the FA Cup. And in the Carabao Cup, it was Manchester United over Arsenal. Arsenal tried to win the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup. They failed in the Carabao Cup. Man United came out on top 3-1. But again, we had a surprising semi-finalist, Reading. <laughs> Reading went to the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. What is happening? And the Champions League stayed in Italy for season six, but this time was not with Juventus. It was back with AC Milan over Bayern 2-0. Season seven is in the books. League two, Sheffield United and Barnsley and Luton Town get out of League two into League one. Oxford, Portsmouth, Cardiff and Everton are gonna fight for that promotion spot. While Norwich City is still struggling, they're in 14th in League two. They've been atrocious. I don't know what happened to them, but they're just, they're bad. League one in season seven was won by Watford, followed by Southampton. Southampton finally getting promoted. Wolves, Hull City, Middlesbrough, and Coventry rounded off the top six for a promotion spot. And in the championship, this is what I'm talking about. Leicester City won it, but Tranmere Rovers, Tranmere Rovers are getting promotion back up to the Premier League, followed by Sunderland, Salford City, Leeds, and Fulham. One of those four will also get promoted. Tranmere Rovers are making some sort of miraculous comeback. They're going back up to the Premier League. And in the Premier League, Chelsea won the Prem in season seven, followed by Arsenal, Liverpool, and Man City in fourth place. While Derby County, Blackpool, and Doncaster all going down to the championship, lads. The FA Cup in season seven was won by Newcastle over Chelsea on penalties 3-2. While the Carabao Cup was won by Man United, but it was over Doncaster. Doncaster Rovers went all the way to the finals of the Carabao Cup. And in the semifinals, it was MK Dons. That's insane. And finally, the Champions League in season seven had a back-to-back -back winner. AC Milan did it again. 2-1 over Arsenal. The Champions League trophy stays in Italy. As we go into season eight, it's super nice to see some teams making a comeback. Like Tranmere Rovers are getting promoted back up to the Prem and Doncaster going all the way to a cup final. So let's go to the end of season eight. I got a feeling things are going to get a little exciting. The eighth season has come to an end. Oxford, Cardiff City and Cheltenham Town are getting promoted to League One and one of Portsmouth, Sheffield, Crawley and Norwich. Norwich are finally in a playoff spot, lads. They might get promoted. In League One in season eight, it was Middlesbrough and Coventry that got automatic promotion to the championship and one of Brentford, Bournemouth, Hull City and Crystal Palace while Burnley is still stuck in League One. And look at <laughs> Everton. Everton is riding that, that, that struggle train. The struggle bus for Everton is real. They almost got relegated back down to League Two. While in the championship, it was Leeds United and Blackpool. Yeah, Blackpool is getting promoted. Southampton, Derby County, Doncaster and Watford will be playing in a playoff. And in the Premier League, it was Manchester United that claimed the title over Man City in second, Chelsea in third and Arsenal in fourth. But let me show you the last team in the Prem. It is Fulham. Yeah, Fulham is getting relegated back down to the championship. This is unbelievable. And the FA Cup in season eight was won by Southampton over Arsenal 2-1. But the Carabao Cup was won by Arsenal and it was over Brighton this time. Brighton went all the way to the Carabao Cup finals, but lost 1-0. And finally in season eight in the Champions League, it was Inter Milan over Bayern Munich. I mean, the Italian sides just have dominated the Champions League in this experiment. That is four Italian winners in a row. The second last season, season nine, has come to an end. Burton, Albion, Barnsley, and Mansfield Town are getting promoted to League One and one of Portsmouth, Port Vale, Shrewsbury, and Sheffield Wednesday. Now, remember how Norwich was in a playoff and they might have gotten promoted. Well, uh, <laughs> they didn't get promoted. They're still stuck in League Two. Norwich City, man. What an embarrassing performance. In League One in season nine, it is Stoke City and Huddersfield going up and one of Preston, Bristol City, Burnley, and QPR. While Crystal Palace, Bournemouth, and Everton are still stuck in League One. And in the championship, it is Fulham and Brentford that are going up back to the Premier League and one of Sunderland, Charlton Athletic, Doncaster Rovers, and Forest Green Rovers as well. Forest Green is in the playoff spot. Let's go. But the Premier League in season nine was won by Liverpool, Spurs in second, Chelsea in third, and Newcastle rounded off the top four. Now, where is Manchester City? I don't see them. Man City all the way down in 12th. That's not that great, is it? And Leeds got relegated. The FA Cup in season nine was won by Arsenal over West Ham 2-1. And Liverpool did the double. They won the Carabao Cup over Spurs. And finally in season nine, there's not an Italian Champions League winner.
winner. It is Bayern Munich over Benfica. Benfica went to the Champions League finals. So let's go to the last season, the final season, season 10, and see where everybody ends up. The final season, season 10 has come to an end, and in League 2, it was Portsmouth, Port Vale, and Morecambe that just got promoted to League 1, and one of Accrington, Shrewsbury, Wickham, and Oxford, while Norwich City lads, I mean, they're just brutal, aren't they? They've been brutal this entire experiment. In League 1 in Season 10, it was Hull City and Crystal Palace that got promoted to the championship, and one of Bournemouth, Peterborough, Swansea, and Birmingham. I mean, Everton, Sheffield United, also just absolutely brutal. So is Luton Town. While in the championship in Season 10, it was Blackburn Rovers and Bradford City. Bradford City is going back up to the Prem, and one of Leeds United, Salford City, Gillingham, and Charlton. While actual Premier League sides like Burnley and Wolves completely struggled. And the final season in the Premier League was won by Manchester United again. Man United were uh, dominant. Absolutely dominant this experiment. So was Arsenal who finished in second, Liverpool in third, and Newcastle rounded off the top four. Manchester City though finished in seventh. Not great. They were actually not good at all this experiment. They got promoted to the Premier League but they never won anything except one FA Cup. And Fulham in the final season got relegated once again along with Brentford and Blackpool. The FA Cup in season 10 was won by Arsenal on penalties over Newcastle 3-1 but we had a surprising semi-finalist again in Blackburn Rovers. And the Carabao Cup was won by Tottenham over Forest 2-1 and again several surprising semi-finalists. Blackpool was there and Blackburn was there again but ultimately they both lost in the semi-finals. And finally the Champions League in season 10 it stayed in Germany. We had the same final that we had in season 9. It was Bayern Munich over Benfica. I mean Benfica fans must be extremely salty. Back to back Champions League finals, back to back losses. So at the end of it all, Premier League clubs still dominated, but not all of them. We had sides like Manchester City completely struggled, and strong sides like Norwich, who is always basically like a yo yo club. They get promoted to the Premier League and then they get relegated. They couldn't even get out of League Two, which is very, very disappointing. We had teams like Everton that struggled, but then we had surprises like Bradford City getting promotion and Wrexham and West Brom winning the league. As always, lads, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a fun time making it, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you got other cool ideas, let me know down in the comments. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, stay happy, and stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next video, all right? Peace, 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 peace.